Not that, not that it's your goodness, because it's not. But not everybody's going to receive your act of kindness. Be prepared. But thank God for those that will. Not everybody out there is going to receive goodness. Because the world's being trained to accept evil. To call good evil and good e and, and evil good. To where they don't even know what goodness is anymore. Rejecting the light. Rejecting God's goodness. Hallelujah. And I know the Holy Ghost has been faithful and God has been flowing like a river on this broadcast. What are we going to do with it? How are we going to respond to the Lord's compassion? Because look, I could be broadcasting to you right now and five minutes later gone to be with the Lord. There is nothing, absolutely nothing preventing me from being with Jesus right now. I'm already with him in spirit, but I mean as far as my body. Nothing to prevent that. The church is not going anywhere for at least three and a half years after the bride is gone. But the bride could be taken any moment. Any moment. Here today and gone tomorrow, praise God. Or gone in the next few minutes. Enoch was not, for God took him. He had this testimony that he pleased God. Hallelujah. I haven't slept in two days, folks. I have not gone to sleep in over two days. They that sleep, sleep in the night. That doesn't mean I don't nod off. That doesn't mean I don't go to sleep. If the devil doesn't come along and try to harass me, I might get a few minutes to close my eyes. He seeks to wear out the saints of the Most High. This is a time for soldiers on the battlefield, on their post. This is no time to be getting comfortable. If you can close your eyes for five minutes, you're doing well in this hour as a soldier, as a watchman. I thank God if I can close my eyes for five minutes. I recently just found out the town that I'm living in right now called Advance. I didn't know this, but I, I did some research on the word advance, and it has to do with a watchman. It has to do with going before and being in the forefront, pursuing. Hallelujah. God said to David, thou shalt recover all. God could have put me in the next town over called High Point. Thinking, oh, if I'm in a high point, I got an advantage. No, God says, I want you to be in a town called Advance. You say, Brother Joseph, what does that got to do with anything? Go and read the Bible. Read the Old Testament. Why did the names of where the places where God's men were make a difference? Read the names, what they mean. It's not by chance I'm staying in a, in a little town in North Carolina uh, and just found out that North Carolina, that the word Carolina actually means beautiful. And so God has me in uh, a town uh, inside of a state called Beautiful, and he has me in a little town that has to do with a military advance to get an advantage, a vantage point, to have the advantage, to have an edge. I'm, I'm getting my family back. The devil stole my wife. He stole David's wife, came and took his children and his wife and burnt the Ziklag with fire. But David recovered all, hallelujah. The thief cometh but to steal and kill and to destroy. That's the process. The world is far under to that process right now. But by the grace of God, that process the devil started with me is going to be aborted. Not going to go all the way to kill and destroy. He's stealing 
and he has stole. But the Bible says when you find the thief, he has to give back sevenfold. That's what he did to Job. And there came a day Job was praying for his friends. There came a day when God gave back to Job more than Job ever had before. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, if you'll be faithful, if you will pray, if you'll be patient, consider the patience of Job, that the long suffering of God in the patience. Amen. God is patient and long suffering. Reaping is coming. What we've sown, we're going to reap. Keep sowing to the Spirit. Keep sowing into people's lives. Because weeping, amen, we may weep for some time, weeping over those precious seeds. But there's a harvest coming, praise God. I thank God for those times when God gives me the power to weep. And it comes from down deep inside, and rivers flow from my eyes. And I begin to weep with those hot tears over the seeds that have been sown in you folks out there. God is going to give Brother Joseph a harvest. There's going to be a harvest. I'm going to have a harvest. There's going to be souls. There's going to be souls that are going to come into the kingdom. Hallelujah to God. Because of faithfulness. Praise God. No time to faint. No time to become weary. If you faint not, you shall reap. If you faint not. No time to faint. Are you listening? This is no time to faint. This is no time to become weary. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, shall mount up with wings as eagles, run and not be weary, and walk and not faint, wait upon the Lord. There's an exchange coming. There's something being kept in reserve for those who are kept by the power of God, ready to be revealed in these last time, in this last time. Hallelujah. Some are going to get their inheritance. Their full inheritance. Those that come into sonship will receive a full inheritance. They shall be my sons and they shall inherit all things. Praise God. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, in the Spirit of God, by the Holy Ghost. You leave your house and you walk down the street. Walk in authority. That's your territory. Jesus said to uh, Joshua, wherever you set your foot, I'll give it to you. I've given it to you. Subdue everything in your path. What does that mean? What does it mean when the Bible says they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet? It's God talking about destruction eventually, but right now it's salvation. Keep coals of fire upon them that they might be saved. Because one day the goodness of God is going to be an all out fire, the heavens will be on fire. Fervent heat. The goodness of God renovating the heavens and the earth. That goodness that the world rejects. Fire of God. The goodness of God. The love of God. Is not God's word like a fire? Is not God's word good? Amen? The heavens and the earth are left in store against the day of God's wrath, against His judgment. Yeah, the long-suffering of God. Long-suffering of God. For the vessels of mercy. Not an ark. 
but vessels of mercy. Hallelujah. Individual vessels. In my Father's house, there are many vessels. There are many temples. Are you listening? I go away to prepare a place. A place. Are we getting the message? What's that place he's talking about? Hallelujah. What does it say in the book of Revelation? There was a war in heaven. Michael, his angels, fought. The dragon, his angels, fought. And they prevailed not. And neither was there found place any more in heaven. There's a place. First place. Gold. And that place is only going to be given to those that overcome by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony, and love not their lives unto the death. Hallelujah. Face to face with the dragon, face to face with the devil. No fear, no flinching, no retreat going to stand before Goliath the real Goliath the devil that's behind all the Goliaths behind all the giants the giant of all giants going to stand before him without God no no but if God be for me not even the dragon can be against me amen who can be against you when God is for you? Who can stand against you when God Almighty is for you? Is God for you? Is God for me? That's the question. Is the Lord for us? Amen? Is the Lord pleased with our life? Is the Lord fighting our battle for us? Well, we come to the realization that it's not our battle. That's half the battle right there, realizing it's not your battle. It's his battle. David wasn't fighting his own battle when he defeated Goliath. He said, you've defied the armies of the living God. Of the Listen, David understood that that was not a battle for him. He understood he was fighting the Lord's battle with the Lord. It was God's battle. But God says, you can come join me. It's my battle. I'm the captain. I'm leading this troop. But you can come join me. Amen? They shall not thrust against one another. What does it say in the book of Joel? The Lord's camp is very great. Amen. He's raising up an army, brothers and sisters. But remember, he is the captain. He is the leader. Praise God. Oh, my. Getting ready to ride with him. Hallelujah. Thinking about the fact that my wife and my daughters today are out riding their horses. God bless them. But very soon, I'm going to be riding a white horse. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Riding in white. Why white light. Why white light. Riding in the light of God. Hallelujah. Following Jesus on a white horse. Celestial horse. In the glory of God. Every eye shall see him. I'm going to ride with him. I'm going to ride with him. 
The world is going to make war.